My name is Emanuela Fosunketia, class of 2023, and I'm studying electrical and electronic engineering. My name is Dominic Abwaje, class of 2023, and I study mechanical engineering. So for our capstone projects, we worked on an automated block making machine. The idea for this project came from the desire to address the housing crisis in Ghana, where the demand for affordable housing is far greater than the supply. According to World Bank, Ghana has an estimated housing deficit of 170 million units, with an annual demand of 170,000 units. One of the primary reasons for this shortage is high cost of construction materials, which include concrete blocks, and concrete blocks account for a significant portion for the cost of building a house. As engineering students, we wanted to find a more effective way of addressing this issue. So our project was to design and implement an automated block making machine that can produce high quality blocks quickly and efficiently. Before we started our project, we researched into existing machines to know the various compression methods they use, mold types and the compactor plate types as well. This helped make an informed decision on the system we should design so that it will be easy for us to automate such a system. In implementing it, we built the mechanical system and built the electrical system separately. Then we integrated these two systems together to get a fully automated working machine. This project involved several engineering principles and science. For instance, we used material science to ensure the right materials were selected for the machine, considering factors such as cost, strength, and durability. We also employed mechanics of machine principle, especially the energy transmission of the vibrator motor to the top of the machine and then the down as well. Also, we employed some manufacturing processes such as welding, soldering, mechanical fastening, cutting and drilling in fabricating the entire machine. After molding the blocks, we had to run several experiments and tests on the block samples produced to ensure that our blocks meet the standard that is recommended. For instance, we ran some mechanical tests such as the compressive strength of the block, the water absorption rate tests, and then also we had to investigate the dimensional accuracy of all the blocks produced. For the water absorption test, we had a water absorption rate of 2.27%, but what the standard recommends is that the water absorption rate of any block shouldn't exceed 10%. This informed us that we were within our range, and by that, we can heavily recommend our blocks for use in the market. After conducting our compressive strength with the Ghana Statistical Authority, our results indicated that our blocks had a very high compressive strength, which can actually meet the purpose of building. The block machine has the potential to significantly reduce cost and labor involved in block production. The automation of the block production process could also reduce the manual labor that is involved and also to improve worker safety and reduce high risk of workplace injuries as far as block production is concerned. In a broader context, we are also able to impact more lives by helping people have access to affordable housing and infrastructure.